What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode in our coverage of Dragon's Dogma. What started out as a short little series may end up being a long little series. Who knows? Who knows anymore? I don't know my motives. I don't know why I do what I do. I just wake everybody. I wake up every day and I do something random on the channel. Or I do something random with the way that I do my operation. And frankly, I can't tell you if I'm doing it right or not. Probably doing it. What? Oh, man. I think the sun's about to go down. I'm like, what time is it? And then I looked at my cell phone in real life like that was actually going to help me out right here. I'm like, ah, good. My cell phone is set to Casarda's time. We're good. Hey, stop picking shit up. You better, you want to come with me, you better keep up. It's rough out here. I don't want to be here come nightfall because then I got to fight a bunch of goblins and stuff that really aren't a threat. There is definitely not aught there. I walked right past it. And see, now you got my pawns destroying stuff. Just a minute ago, they were totally tranquil and calm, and now they're constantly destroying shit. Something about being around you, Madeline. Maidlin. We shouldn't have any problems. We should be pretty much good to go out. Is there a chest up there that I forgot to loot? Hold on. There's aught up here, too, and so I'm going to go take it for myself. I'm going to claim it because I desire it. Coin pouch, coin pouch, take it up cause I'm no slouch, we got goblins on this little hill, let's get them all killed. I do think we're starting to deal more damage, but not that much. I would like to see a little bit more pain being dealt out as we go through the game, but we're doing okay for right now. Did they drop anything? They dropped a rock. I don't really need- No, you took my wormwood sap! Curse you, Flint, follower of another man. How dare you betray me along these lines and take what is mine and make it yours. Using them business rules to life. The business rules to life. Take everything, give nothing. Cheat, lie, steal. If you can get away with it, it's not ethically wrong. Welcome to business. That's one of the reasons why I know I could never make it in business. I'm just not cutthroat and cruel enough. I'm not that guy. And I think if you want to be, like, really, really good at business, I think it helps to not have any ethics. I think it will assist you in your great journey. Please don't strike that red barrel. If you hit it, I'm going to cry and then possibly pee myself a little as it explodes and propels me across the planet. And all thanks goes to your fine work. We'd best be inside, don't you think? She's trying to invite me in for a nightcap right now, but heroes don't have time for these shenanigans. We have no time for women, wine, and song. We must go forth and slay things. This may sound untoward, but have you aught in the way of coin? Please, I must make for the capital, but times are dark and my purse light. It's a terrible curse being poor. Times are, it takes all I have just to keep the tears back. Will you spare some gold? I would repay you, of course, at some point, most likely. I'm like 90% sure she never pays you back. I remember giving her the money and then like 15 hours into the game she has like a shop inside the main city and nothing else ever comes of it. I don't know though. She take my money when I'm a so knee. Yup. I ain't saying she a gold digger. Is a dangerous creature, but you know well how to take it. <laughs> With money. Oft has it been said a poor life is a happy one. I have never found this to be true. If ever fortune sees you to Grand Sorin and me to setting up my shop, you must come visit. I shall even give you a discount. A small one. You'll find not but the finest wares here. I don't think she has anything. She has doses of strength. It restores your strength to normal. Is there anything, is there any reason why I wouldn't want my strength perpendicular? Eh. We'll figure it out. We got throat cutters, a short bow. I actually don't think she has anything that I want. I'm pretty sure the last time I came through here, she had, like, really, really bad equipment. Yeah, she has the baleful nails, but we just picked those up. So the baleful nails are actually not that bad. We gotta get our nails did. I forgot that we looted those inside the little well dungeon. So if you... Oop, that's not what I needed. Inside the well dungeon, we got these right here. 
and you can actually equip them as jewelry and so we'll get our nails did because why not every now and again you got to get your nails did you got to go out there you got to be looking good you got to actually get the little gold emblems on them right there i personally prefer a little flowery heart but some people might want some roses or like a little ducky or something like that whatever makes you happy either way it gives us plus 10 to strength and also plus 10 to magic so all around pretty solid upgrade right there pretty solid upgrade and now that everybody has leveled, I would strongly suggest that we go over here. We're going to continue the main quest line. It took us a lot longer to get here than I thought it would, but eh. All these people walking around town, you can hire them as pawns. I don't know if I ever brought that up, but all of these guys right here. How come there's so many people that have... There's so many people in here that have really awesome armor. I know that you get super overpowered armor with the expansion. I hate it when games do that. So if you have the Dark Arisen expansion with the pre-order or whatever else... You end up, they give you, like, a suit of armor that's really, really good for every class. I won't be using it in this playthrough because it's overpowered, and it just, it ruins the game for me. The core will remain here a while. Once more men have gathered, we'll leave for the capital. Until then, you're free to use our lodgings. Will you rest? This lady is super, like, intent on us using her men's tents. As you will. Repose is the better part of readiness. Oh, they're very growly snakes, too. Look at that. Little grumpy snakes. Did he just throw a flask of oil at them? So what you want to do here is if you can, you want to go in like so. And when they snap at somebody, you want to attach to the head and just hope that the camera doesn't screw you. I may be able to launch off in just a minute, but for right now... We'll just stay. I'm sorry. The camera's doing this all by its lonesome at the moment. I'm going to jump. Ow. Jumping off was a bad idea. I take it back. I made a poor decision, and I now regret it. The snake's going to go up on the tower. We're going to drink some horse bud juice just to get a, little bit of our, get a little bit of our vitality back. We're not feeling so hot right now because we just fell like three stories off the top of a giant snake's head. Would not recommend it. Medically, bad plan. Jumping off a 30-story snake's head. You can't really strike them low, so what you've actually got to do is you've got to go up on the back like so. Then you just got to give them a little climb. Huh. Ah! A head came off. Normally it takes longer to get to there. It uses more... Ex I I'm a little disappointed. Apparently I did too good at chopping its head off. I got it like partially severed. I am impressed. Oh, I'll be damned! Is your handiwork? For truth? Oh, what did the lack of an idol doing here anyway? Ancient tales of the Arisen are well and good, friend. But make a gift of these heads to the Duke. And you might earn yourself a real title. More reason. I see better now from whence the legends arose. Good judgment, swift footwork. Impressive, truly. In any case, the Duke will want to know of this attack. I'd hoped to gather a larger force before leaving for the capital. But a Hydra's head and the Arisen who claimed it make up the difference amply. I cannot say what the past may hold. You will need your strength. It will be slow going with a cart. I dare say you'll have no trouble catching up. We'll meet at the way castle. Till then, I bid you rest well. Tis a long road ahead. It is indeedly doodly. We got paid. We got to level nine. 
I should probably go see how much discipline we have right now because buying a couple abilities might be a smart choice. As far as judgment goes, that might be a judgment call that'll save us a little bit of heartache and pain in the future. I don't want to have heartache by the number and troubles by the score. And every day I don't want the game to love me less. I want it to love me more. Let's see. Let's learn some skills. We can also learn skills, by the way. Make sure you don't neglect to learn skills on your pawn. If you do, your pawn will be considerably less effective. Burst strike, an advanced form of blink strike, honed to travel greater distances before visiting a... Bl I didn't know that I had blink strike. Do I have blink strike? What? I never bought blink strike. Holy shit, I've had blink strike this whole time? Well, damn, son. Yeah, I'll take burst strike then. Because blink strike is really good, so I assume the upgraded version is probably way better. As far as shields go, there's one here that I really, really like. It may be under shield skills. I don't know. There's flesh skewer, broad cut. There's one where you hide behind your shield and you stab a whole bunch. And it makes you immune to all damage from the front while at the same time stabbing a lot. It's pretty good. I don't want to do springboard just yet, although springboard is pretty good. Unleash a barrage of strikes using the shields. Eh, shield drum. I don't know if I want to tank right now. An advanced swarm that turns a tackle to a forceful jab. Deflects attacks back towards the would-be assailant. That would be pretty awesome. We'll get another augment once we level up our class a little bit more. They'll increase the amount of weight that we can carry, which will be nice for when we get really, really heavy armor. Broad cut I don't use very often, so I probably won't assign it. Traces a grand skyward arc with the blade, sending light... W Ooh, yeah, that'll probably work. Knock some goblins up into the air or something. And then a shield strike would probably be perfectly fine, too, just so I have something to do with my shield when my guard is up. If you hold down the out button, we haven't been blocking a whole lot yet because circumstances have not required it. However, at a certain point, we will have to start blocking and all do doing all that kind of intelligent shit. So, once that starts... So let's test out what we've got here. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry, man. I didn't mean to hit you with my sword. It was an accident. And see, now everybody likes me less. They're grumpy about it. So, if we go like that, we have Shield Strike, which is just a big strike like so. And then for Burst Strike... Okay, so that's like a big haymaker of a strike. That one right there should do the exact same thing that Blink Strike always does. I love Blink Strike. I use it all the time. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I will probably sleep till morning. The sun's about to go down, and so I don't want to travel at night. I think it'd be much wiser for us to rejoin this adventure in the manana. There we go. And so now that we've queued up manana, we'll be good to go. Is she poisoned or like... What was up with that green thing that was going on with her? Oh, you gonna learn. You gonna learn. I'm kind of worried about getting to the capital. It might have been morning, actually. Maybe that's the east and that's the west. Oh, it is. I didn't even look at my compass. All right, I'm an idiot. That's cool. You already knew that, though. If you've hung out here for any extended amount of time, you'll know that it's usually about 23 to 25 minutes before I do something stupid. And then sometimes... Creature. I saw it from my spot at the post. What was it? It's been dispatched then? Thank the Maker. Uh, hold a moment. Is Kino not with you? She was said to lead the village in search of art for your wounds. I thought you accompanied her. These are dark times for a girl alone in the wilds. Any idea where she might be off to? Well, nope. Alright. Let's go find out about Kina. I forgot about this quest. See, there's so much going on in this game. It's such a lively game where there's like constantly little challenges and stuff being thrown in front of you that I forget even what quests exist half the time. Unfortunately, we can't sprint all the way there. You see that nest right there in that tree? If you jump and hit that, stuff will fall out of it. I don't know if you're into hitting nests or anything. I probably just leave it alone because I like animals and I don't want to mess with them, but some people might enjoy messing with them and like knocking their stuff out of the trees. Can we have a quest to kill a bunch of wolves or something like that? Maybe they only come out at night. I think they only come out at night. Hold on, I want to check this shit. No, this shit right... No! 
Stop vaporizing him so efficiently before I can knock him up in the air with my super awesome uppercut. Nobody ever uses the downer cut. The downer cut is just an uppercut that makes you very, very depressed. Yeah! That was really satisfying. I had a Mortal Kombat moment. That was definitely the down strong punch uppercut. Let's go figure out what has happened to Queena. Keena the Queena. It is indeed, little pawn. Tis my home from whence I was raised, and then I stabbed a dragon in the foot, and it was like, yo, dog, that's not cool. And then it ripped out my heart, and I was like, hey, man, that is also not cool. And then he was like, forget you, and he flew off, and I was like, oh, man. Stole my heart and left me here alone. The story of my life. Hold, Minnow. I'd have your ear a moment. It's been a full sun since last I saw Kina. She spoke of the Witchwood to find a cure for your wound. If she's gone there for true, I beg of you. Find Kina and see her back safely, ere some ill befalls her. So Witchwood, where the hell is Witchwood at? I don't even know if we have Witchwood like here. So we can change the scale. We've got the area map. We've got unusual beach. Nope, I don't want to do that. I have not discovered Witchwood yet. It's got to be close, though. Maybe, like, down Manamiya Trail? I don't know. Maybe we'll go on a little adventure today and see if we can find Kina. I don't really... Oh, look, our boots are hobnailed. That's pretty cool. It's little details when our feet come up. I didn't realize that our boots were hobnailed. That's what they used to do back in ye olden days. They would hobnail boots. I don't know exactly what that means. All I know is that a hobnail is different from a normal nail. And I think it's just like a short little thumbtack type deal. And then you, like, coat it in glue and then hammer it through the bottom up into, like, some harder reinforcement along the edge of the boot or something like that. Wouldn't know. Not a cobbler. Nobody in my family is a cobbler. My mom makes a pretty good cobbler. My grandma's cobbler's all right, but she's old-fashioned. She's a lot of butter in it. And I'm not a huge butter fan. Like, I like butter, but there is such a thing as way too much butter. And so when things get buttery, I tend to just be like, blah, 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 and I don't want to eat them anymore. Careful! A goblin! A goblin, me lord! We've never seen no goblins before. Let's fight them. I will strike now. And can't nobody tell me different. Yeah. Oh, we got a foreign knife. That'll be sweet. I think you got to use that to upgrade some stuff. Can I steal this hoe over here? Oh, it's a spade. Gotcha. And then what do you do with straw? Oh, there's green warish inside of it. Well, I love... Oh, there's sweet pollen as well. I can feel my allergies itching already. My sinuses slowly swelling. My eyes sucking shut like little assholes on my forehead. Hooray! I have really bad allergies. Luckily, since I moved back home, they're not so terrible. When I, I moved and I went to college, I moved about three hours away from where I was, and oh my god. I don't know what the hell they grew out there, but... It was like a farming area. There's definitely like a farming community outside of where I lived, but they definitely grew something different from what they grew in my hometown. Because my hometown, I have allergies sometimes, but it's not too bad. As long as I take like Claritin or something, I'm perfectly fine. When I was when I was actually in Roner Park or Petaluma, whatever it is they grew out there, man, I was super allergic to it. It would start usually around the beginning of spring, and it would run till about halfway through summer, and my throat would be nonstop sore throat. I'd have to get injections to make it go away. Like, my eyes were constantly itchy. I either had to take painkillers and random, like, Claritin-type stuff all day, every day at, like, five times the dose, or I had to go get, like, little injections or something. And since I didn't have a lot of cash, and medical care is kind of expensive, eh, I usually just take a shit ton of Claritin. I take, like, four or five of them at a time instead of one. Probably pretty bad for my liver. Eh. You gotta go to work. You gotta function. Unfortunately, while I'd like to give my liver its due cause... Sometimes you got shit to do. Let's follow this trail on up. I don't know where Witchwood is, but my guess is that it's out there somewhere. I don't think it's in that direction, because that direction takes you to the capital. And outside the capital, there's like a swamp and like a ruin. But I don't think I recall... Oh, we got wolves down in here. We need those for our quest. Yes, please. Yeah, see, that's why I like that attack right there. Blink Strike is really, really nice because it... Oh, man, he got me good. He got me good, didn't he? 
Blink Strike allows you to close gaps and also it counts as a knockdown. It'll also go straight through them, so you actually spear the enemies with it, and it'll deal damage to multiple enemies at the same time. Whenever you see these grapes over here, I recall them being super useful. Grand grapes, I recall being you can mix them with something to do something. And I remember being like part of the way through the game and being irritated because I hadn't been picking them up because I thought they were just like a worthless thing. Well, good for you, man. You mount that wolf. You show it who's boss. I hope I don't die. That would suck. Now goes another one. There are a lot of wolves in this game, and if you die, it actually takes you back to the last time you saved, which is normally the last time you went into town. So, heal yourself early and heal yourself often. Oh my god, that wolf almost got me. I'm gonna get him back. I'm gonna get him back. We do need the wolf hides. We definitely need the wolf pelts. So we need to make sure we're picking those up along the way too. Because once we start upgrading armor, it's gonna be a nice thing to have around. I think it takes like three per upgrade. Ah, I didn't get him. I'll go after him again. Seriously, that ability is super hardcore. Don't underestimate it. Blink Strike is really, really, really good. I use it all the time against smaller enemies. Against bigger enemies, you don't really need to close the gap quite so much. But against the bigger enemy, I'm sorry, against the smaller enemies, it can be really, really useful. Sunbright, yeah, I'll bring those along. I don't know what they're useful for. I'll probably look up an alchemy guide or like a combinations guide before I go too much further into the game. Oh good, we replaced that green wearish we used in the fight. I was a tiny bit concerned about our consumption there. See that big boulder at the top of the hill? It does exactly what you think it's gonna do. So, my suggestion would be to trigger it, and then if you're real, real sneaky, you can just tuck in over here with all of your pawns and you should be good. If you try to race it, there is a little alcove up here and to the right, but what ends up happening a lot of the time is that your pawns will just kind of stand in the middle of the road while you hide over here, and they'll get run over by the boulder. And it does one-shot you, so be careful about it. This zone might be too high a level for us. I don't know. This is one of those games where they definitely let you wander around as much as you want. Oh, I've come here to travel on a road. You, sir. Oh, I did. That was so gangster. He shot and I ducked it. Oh my god, that was so awesome. If I saw somebody do that to one of my friends that was trying to shoot them with a bow, I don't know why anybody that I associate with would be trying to shoot another human being with a bow. I would still be like, damn son, you got dealt with. You got dealt with so hard right there. He juked you. You got crossed over, man. Ooh, that guy was packing. That guy had himself some change. Some cheddar, some gouda, some guap. That Swissarella. I think I'm gonna stab you, and then I'm gonna knock you way the hell up into the air just to get you out of the way. He's got a shackle. Shackles are heavy, but oh, he's actually, he doesn't count, okay. Let me, I'm gonna shield bash you. Stay on him real quick. Use that opportunity to get in a big strike whenever I can. Oh, he stabbed me. That's unfortunate, but I leveled up, so all the damage has been offset. How come the guy with the super... See, he bought that badass armor, and that's why he's broke. I was about to ask, how come the guy with the badass armor ain't got no money? Because he just bought that badass armor. You just answered your own question. This dude's up here on the ledge. A lot of these little roguey guys with the bows, they're going to try and kite you, too. And Blink Strike can help with that. It's a real, real easy way for you to shut down rogues quick. Another shackle. I think the shackles are used for something, but I can't remember what. I don't really need a small nut. I like my nuts to be of superior quality. I mean, if I'm in the market. Yeah, I, my guess would be the random armed people trying to murder us every 12 seconds. There we go. Knock him up in the air, let him have it. And down he goes. Another one bites the dust. Oh, there's enemies over here too. Alright, let's get on him then. You can combo in these abilities in case you didn't know. So if you can strike twice and then you can mix in one of those, the game is pretty good at letting you just kind of mix things in as you attack. We need to be careful up and in here. It's very easy to lose your party against some of these brigands. They are a lot more dangerous than anything we fought previously in this playthrough, so just keep an eye on them. They can overwhelm you if you're not careful. Without a healer, it can be a little sketchy too, although I find that healers tend to have a lot of problems getting strikes off in the middle of combat. These enemies do respawn. 
So just be aware that if you leave and come back through this area, you will have to fight him again. It's one of the more grindy things about the game that I don't really like, but I don't know. I'd probably prefer it if the dungeons, there's a lot of bandits over there. There are a lot of bandits over there. That seems like a way to get my ass kicked. Eh, we're a little bit outnumbered. Let's go this way. This looks kind of like a forest. Sort of. The hell is that thing? Oh, is that a Saurian? Oh, Saurians are fine. We can handle those. I'm just going to pull a couple back, though. I don't want to be in like the thick of the shit while I fight these things. Okay, well never mind then. Apparently, you can also break off your combo early by doing a jump. I don't know if that's something that people are interested in, but I use it on occasion to save myself. I need that tail off. We basically just need to make these less potent. So sometimes what I'll do is if I know my combo isn't going to land, I'll jump in the middle of one of the animations, and it should get you out of it a little bit. There goes another tail. Let me get Lewis back up. That shouldn't do anything, I don't think. I don't really want to fight them right now. There goes one, so there's our first little batch of XP. Having a healer might be an okay idea. I don't tend to run healers because it's amazing how much faster you kill shit if you just run with an ow. Okay. Let's jump up in here. Use some of that green warish. I do need to block more, but unfortunately they keep getting me from my blind spot while I'm not looking. Yeah, I get poison. What? That poison counted? Are you kidding me? That poison shouldn't have counted. I was way off to the side. That's shenanigans. I call shenanigans on this. Will that help with poison? Oh, good. And it gave me health back. That's nice. I'll probably wait to use anything else here. Alright, let me get Flint back up. Your pawns in general I don't think can res each other, only you can res the pawns. So if you're having trouble, just be aware you can sometimes get yourself a little bit of operating room. Is he dead or is he just down? He's down, okay. I'm trying to get that shield back up, but... Yeah, he broke my guard. That's not good. That is downright troublesome. Block that right there. Get back in here. It should be reasonably easy for you to block most strikes in this game. Come on. Stay on me. Knock. Oh, I didn't know that would knock them down. Okay, well, let's stay on that then. Rift Fragment on that side. This guy over here is looking a little too friendly. I'm going to go after him. There we go. This will be a really good supply of Saurian scales, too. Ah, he got me with a tail. Wasn't expecting to eat a tail right there. There are definitely more of them than I expected. This fight got a little bit more epic than I thought I was kicking off. The thing is, the magic is super useful in this game, but a lot of it has a really, really long casting time. So sometimes it can be very difficult for your mage to actually assist the party until you get him a little bit. The mages tend to do a lot better against single target fights if you can keep them tanked and totally taken care of. Versus multi-target fights, they tend to have issues. A rope? A rope? Where's a rope? What rope are you talking about? Where is... I gotta go to my quest menu here. Do I have Keenest quest up? Yeah, so I think we are in the right area, but we gotta go past those bandits in order to get to the zone that we're gonna go to. We're a little bit gassed out right now, too. We are a tiny bit wounded. Wow, I lost track of time. 
That's the end of our episode. That looks like a booby trap. Don't step on that. What have you done? My name is Splattercat. I will see you all in the next episode of Dragon's Dogma. I do, everybody. Oh.